It's time for us to put the sails up. We have spent today making sure we have as much as possible or even everything we want that when we've lifted the sails, we can actually sail and that we're not missing stuff. I'm really hoping there's nothing missing. Either way, let's get this uh, stay shortened, which was the one that was in the between both masts. Uh, you can see it's got two tubes on. This was to pass electrical wires from one mast to the other. All the wires went up the main mast and then to get to the radar and it had a TV antenna in the foremast, all those wires pass through here. Don't know if we're still gonna be doing that. If we do in the future, we can put these back on, but for now I'm gonna remove them and shorten this. We've also got Arturo here, who's gonna help us do some of these things and uh, he's MP's godfather and uh, he'll make stuff go so much quicker. Everything is going super nicely. It took a while, but we managed to get the ring out of the stay that connects both masts. All I need to do now is wait for the little wire, wire clamps, I think they're called, to arrive so I can bend this, put the little ring in and bring that back up. Hopefully that's all we need to have that front stay straight and not like really loose, which will help a lot with rolling and unrolling the sail. I have fastened the mainsail stay or furling system all the way up top there, but it's still dangling down here and it's got a tensioner that has to be fastened onto something so I can make it nice and tight so it can roll and unroll nicely. So I've been going around the entire boat, bow locker, under the beds, collecting as much stuff possible that is sail related or running rigging related. But this was one of the big pieces that has to be installed and this is where that tensioner of the mainsail fastens onto. So what I'm going to do is not only try and get some of this to shine but mainly sand the bottom part of the mast here so that I can varnish it and install this so that I don't have to be sanding around here. And all we need is to bring these stay up to the top. Oh guys we're almost there. Our comfort level on the boat just upgraded again. Perfect. No, we just gotta get these sails up and then everything will look absolutely epic. Just got to let that dry, then you can put that metal ring around it, whatever you want to call it, but loads of stuff has arrived. So let's unload this and see what it is. We also have the indoor backrests, but none of those things are gonna get us sailing. Check it out. Two white sheets with black and yellow, two sheets with blue, green, and red in it, two green sheets. That's gonna get us closer to sailing. We also have a couple goodie bags. Whoa, who doesn't like a good cap here? Goodie bag from Akibra. They are providing us with all these cool lines, ropes, also every stuff. We also have six low friction rings for 12 millimeter sheets, which is the ones we have. I want to have a soft shackle around this. We've got some leftover Dyneema here and this is going to receive the sheets from the sail and send it backwards over here. And we can play around with the soft shackles where we fasten it onto the rail until we can find a permanent solution. And you can never have too many low friction rings. Fishing hooks, because the puffer fish keeps eating them all. With their razor sharp teeth. Four big wire clamps for the stay uh, between the masts. 
and this. I'll show you what this is for. Let's try this out. Gas on. Epic. So cool. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. Enough of this. Turn it off. Put it outside for now, just in case. And one more bag I didn't check. A full cinnamon bun. Thanks MP for this. Mwah. these with a bunch of Loctite as it's standing or well, as it's rigging and stays I don't want it to be loose but hey this is not coming off next thing is to bring it up also I want to put another coat on the mast another two coats on the mast before we put that blue thing up Okay, can you see your reflection in there? I don't know, it's, I'm still not very good at polishing. I think it's just about how many times you go over it again and again and again and again. But I think I'll install these for now and put that tensioner on here. And then tomorrow, I think we can finish with completely tight rigging. Like, that would be ideal. <laughs> This rope was on here just to prevent it from banging as it was intentioned. Hopefully now that we've got the tensioner under there, we don't need this anymore. Also, if you were wondering what those two last holes were down there, they are to fit pulleys on because the pulleys will go from the main sheet and from the topping lift down here and they'll be accessible from the deck right behind you guys. Hello, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we did really hard, we tried really hard to get the sails up for the episode, however the episode caught up on us because of this silly thing here which had to be shortened, it's been shortened right now. I've prepped everything, I'm going to bring it up, tighten absolutely everything, it's going to be a nice and tight standing rigging and then we can start hoisting the sails and hopefully just, I can't wait for the bit where I'm going to like figure out where all the pulleys are going to go and stuff and all the running rigging and bringing it all along, so let's get this up and start working on progress. dangling middle stay there so let's try and fasten it which should be a piece of cake as you saw me and MP all you do with the tensioner is you just hold the thread into the tensioner and you screw it should be easy go and then yes you saw it on the last video on the platform all I have to do now is up the mast even easier you know Agora, vai! Vai! Mais um forço, vai, vai! Deu! Deu? 
Deu, deu. Deu certo? Are you checking if your work is good? Are you checking the mass position and the, the furlings? How is that? For now, because we of course loosen everything to be able to get that connected, I think tomorrow we'll get an early start, get in the dinghy and do the same checks we did last time, which is when we discovered that was the short thing. But now, I don't know, at least we, I think we can get those front furling systems, nice and tight now. This one is still slightly loose and I don't know why. So I just thought, what if I just start fiddling with the furling system? And I discovered there is a tensioner under here. And I guess that makes sense. I just wasn't sure and I didn't know how to access it. So now I guess I, I just take everything apart and see what stuff looks like. There we go. I just hope I can put it all back later, but now I've got access. Look at this, it's just a tensioner. I can just tension this stay. That's insane. It's like, if I'd known that from the beginning. So nice. Well, that's not good. Who tied this knot? Beautiful. Now, there it goes. And now I'm pulling that mast forward slightly and this mast is loosening, so the bow is loosening. Yeah. There we go. Do you want to tell the world what happened? I wasn't planning on doing it. I was just going to pretend nothing happened. But this might be a cool adventure if we find the pieces. All the stays are nice and tight. Everything's perfect. And I was about uh, on the bow spit. I was like, remove a piece. Don't put it in your pocket. Walk back, put it on the boat, go back to the bow spit. And uh, everything was done. Everything was tensioned. Everything was tightened. And I was just going to put the furling system back together and two of the two parts fell that I just even forgot they were there so I lifted the furling system up and plop plop so visibility is good today no we're not going to look for our engine anymore but we have something else to find and I will another exciting day here in our anchorage a penguin is visiting shall I go find it
two bob stays super tight the back stay super tight and i really like how the furling system uh the two front furling system or the four stays are also very tight and straight way easier to hoist the sails now and also the furling system will work better if there was a belly in it it kind of turns and it hangs and you have to manually turn it again but that's not the case anymore i would like to go up the main mast to tighten that middle state a little bit but that i will do when i add the topping lift also all these shrouds are slightly loose well some are tight some are loose i'm gonna do them as well once that middle stay has been tightened what does this mean guys like i can tell you right now that it's time for us to put the sails up the only problem about this is we don't know which sail belongs to which furling system so we're going to go through some old footage because i think we filmed us tying them and they're all up with different ropes so that'll help us out a lot I think everything up in those masts has been done. Unfortunately, that front furling system, we're gonna to have to order a new part for that. But uh, that is not gonna stop us from hoisting our first sail. We're gonna start with this one over here. So hopefully now we can find which one it is. <laughs> Let's see. Hey. Okay, our job. Guide it through here. Okay. Uh, Jonathan pulls nice and slow because this is uh -huh, important. Same, same. You better have a there. Okay, and I will give you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and slow. Let me know. So you pull it with Jonathan while I unfold it here. What about that? Same for the Sipania. Now I can explain this funny furling system. Huh? Okay, let's check what else can fall in before it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else can fall? We're good. Let's uh, let continue here. Thank you, Biggie. Okay, where were we? Now I get to explain this funny furling system to you guys. So it's made to be super robust and long lasting, so it doesn't have any funny pulleys in it. But this doesn't go down the main mast now and fasten onto the main mast. It literally follows down here, and fastens onto here and rolls up with it, which is why we had the extension fastened onto this. Because when the sail drops, this goes all the way up. So the extension is only to hoist and drop the sails. But, does that make sense? Hey, don't worry, hola. So we were gonna roll it all up by hand, but I think our plan now is if I can roll a few laps of a line or rope into here, at least we can kind of get it rolling.
very, very, very well. We still got to find and put a little cleat on for the furling line. We need to get a second sheet up and the running rigging, but we've got a sail up, guys, and rolled up. Look at that. Changes absolutely everything. Love it. Absolutely everything. Thanks, Jonathan. <laughs> Sail number two. Two out of four sails are up. The most forward one is another story, but now it's time for the main sail. Woo! Is it the right one? I you sure? So. We'll find out. Anyway, up it goes, roll it up, and hopefully tonight we'll get all the lines for the furling systems. Whee! Come on. Yeah. Such an evil dog. Yeah, you're evil. Evil dog. Come on, guys. Up, up, up. on it. Hey, hey. I got this feeling I can't describe. This magic in the air. The world has come alive. And when I see you, you make my pulse rise I never knew that I could be so hypnotized There's something in your touch, baby The way your body's moving me And I don't know where this We are safe! <laughs> Someone here is nuts Three out of three sails today are in place. We would put the fourth one up, but there was a small technical error. They'll be here soon. Some replacement parts, which I won't drop. But yeah, next steps, the running rigging, which is epic, which is engineering, which you know we're really good at. Everything on this boat's been completely planned from scratch. So now we just need to go out and get the plans, which we always follow and... Uh... <laughs> in my opinion, so far it's looking pretty good. Tomorrow let's get all that running rigging so that we can have all the sheets here and then head off. Can't believe this could happen. 